Okay, this number to the nearest thousands. No th. That means the th thousands is the number um, right before the first comma, right? So right in front of the first comma is the thousands. So I'm going to circle that. The number before it is a five. It's five or greater, so that means I have to change the zero to a one. So I'm going to write all the numbers before it. So one, eight, nine. And instead of writing the zero, I'm going to write the one. Okay. I'm going to write my commas. And then remember, all the numbers after the circled number are going to turn into zeros. So this was my circled number, right? That changed to one, zero to one. So it's going to become zero, 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 point, zero, zero. And again, because these zeros are at the end of a number and they're behind the decimal point, I don't have to write them out. Okay, but I could if I want. I could just leave it like that. Okay? So this is uh, the number when you round this to the nearest thousands. Now this one is to the nearest thousandths with the th. Okay, so that means it's we know it's behind the decimal point. Here's tenths, hundredths, thousandths. Okay, so then I'm gonna round to that number. I circle it, look at the number behind it, it's a seven. It's five or greater, right? And seven is bigger than five. That means I change the circle number to a five, I round up, okay? So again, the circle number, um, it's either going to stay the same if this number behind it is smaller than five, or it's gonna become one bigger if it's five or greater, if the number behind it is five or greater, okay? And then when I rewrite my number, I'm gonna write all the numbers in front of it up to my circled number, and then all the numbers behind it becomes um, zeros. So 5.055, five. and then this becomes a zero right there, okay? So that's it for this lesson on rounding decimals. Thank you for watching educator.com.